Good morning. In my previous video, I talked about how you can now log on to more than one Xbox simultaneously with the same account. But what I want to talk about today is how that affects game sharing and whether it makes game sharing better. So if we go into the guide and we go down, we can look and see who we're logged on as and we're logged on as Joe Chip. And we want to change the login to Kid Test. So this is going <laughs> to load up and we're now sorted out as Kid Test. And what I want to do is I want to go along and have a look and see if Joe Chip is still logged on. And if we go down, you can see from here, you can see that Joe Chip is still logged on as well. So we're logged on as Joe Chip in the background, but it's not actually the main logon now. And we're actually going to be playing any games as Joe Chip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out of there and then I'm going <laughs> to try and load up Destroy All Humans and see if that plays OK. So as you can see, we're across to Destroy All Humans and I'll just start and load that up now. And obviously that's going to take a little while to load up now. What I speculated about was maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to then go across to another machine. And you can see that on the right hand side here and also log on as Joe Chip. But I have Joe Chip then play Destroy All Humans as well. And as you can see, Destroy All Humans is loading up OK here for Kid Test. But uh, yeah, <laughs> it'd be interesting to see what happens if you look here, we're uh, we're just actually going in and we're making sure it says kid test. If you look on the bottom uh, left hand side, get my right and left right. If you look on the bottom left hand side here, it says kid test. So kid test is logged in and kid test is playing destroy all humans. <laughs> and if we bring up the dashboard again and you can see kid test and Joe Chip is still signed in. So, as I say, Joe Chip signed in in the background. But what happens when I move across to my other console? Right. So, as you can see, I'm now at my other Xbox and uh, you can see I'm logged in as Joe Chip. But if I hit the uh, Xbox button and go all the way across, if we look at add or switch, there's only Joe Chip on this console. So uh, I'm just logged in as me. Now, obviously, I'm still playing Destroy All Humans with my kid test account on the other Xbox and uh, the game was bought with the Joe Chip account. So what happens now if I go in to try and play Destroy All Humans as Joe Chip? Let's find out. You're already playing this somewhere else. So <laughs> it doesn't give us the opportunity to be able to play the game on two consoles, unfortunately. So the speculation I had about being able to play on two consoles with two different accounts at once is unfortunately not the case. So we're still stuck with this problem with the Xbox, whereby if you want to be able to play on more than one console at a given time with your family, you're going to have to have one console set as your primary or your home console and then share it in the way that we always have, which unfortunately is a pain in the neck. And I was hoping that would be sorted out with this change. But no. So, yeah, that's a bit disappointing. Unfortunately, no improvement there. Anyway, that's me done. I just thought I'd let you know. A uh, <laughs> bit depressed, but what can you do? Microsoft have decided to hobble the system to make it more difficult for us. And it does seem to be a really strange choice, given all the things they've been doing that have been so pro-consumer lately. But this, well, this isn't, <laughs> unfortunately. Right, anyway, look, that's me done. I'm going to go and grab myself a cup of tea and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Oh, dear. <laughs>